This episode sponsored by our viewers. Thanks to folks like Ellie, Ivar, and Connor, we've been able to continue producing episodes. Our most dedicated sponsors are those that enjoy the show. You can show your support at everydaydrinkers.tv slash donate. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I am your host, Derek Schomer. Today, the sunken barrel. This recipe from Frosgar. Frosgar! Sounds like a like a name you scream out like in rage. Apparently. Like a like maybe a, a band. That's what you just yeah. like, uh, like that meat band on <laughs> with its Waverly Blaze. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Is that how it's gonna be? We relate everything to kid shows? <laughs> yes. The uh, smoothers. The Smoothers Brothers, wasn't it? Was that? Okay. Like that yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, this this is my uh, somebody called it this week. Oh, that one actually is a little more clear. This must have been from a different batch. This is my Common Man Ice because it's um, not clear. White because it's not clear. All right, so we've got a half ounce of lime. No, you got no. juice of half a lime. This is half a lime, so it's about a half ounce. Uh, we're going to do a juice of half a lime, as I just said. We're going to, oh, by the way, we're going to put a highball. You know what? I don't think this needs to be mixed. Screw that. We're going to do two ounces of dark spiced rum. The submitter, Frosgar, suggested the Kraken. Ah! So that's what we're going to do. I would also suggest for a, a good spice rum... Um, Oh, you're running low on that. Oh, crap. I mean, what else am I, I going to... I remember using that that often. I was going to suggest something else. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. Obviously, private stock. Yeah, Blackbeard. It's supposed hmm. to be dark spiced rum, though. Private stock's not dark, is it? Private stock is dark. It's mm -hmm. not as dark as this. If That's not like a whole separate category, though. Dark rum? Dark spiced rum. <laughs> no, I think I don't. I don't really know about a lot of light spiced rum. I guess besides, maybe the, the what the the author should have really clarified is don't use Captain Morgan's original, because that's really the one that looks like like somebody who's drank six beers and peed. Really, you had to go there. Yep. I like the envisioning of these things is what really turns things around and makes the audience grow. And oh, viewer no. counts. Beer dehydrates you, so your pee could be pretty yellow. I know. I don't think Captain Morgan is yellow. It's more clear. -ish. I don't know where it is. Yeah. Curse you, Captain Morgan! Good thing, because you just proved me right. I'm going to find it. <laughs> Next show. All right. We're going to garnish this sucker with a line. Oh, the go. one you just squeezed? No, it's actually <laughs> half of the other one, but not that one. You could cut up the squeeze lime and garnish it. That would be pretty silly. Could squeeze it and throw it in. Could squeeze all halves and throw all the halves in. Could do a lot of things. But I'm going to do none of them. You could drink it and tell us how it tastes. Lime and root beer. Hmm. I'm having my, I'm having second thoughts. It's just kind of awkward tasting. I, I don't know why. Maybe because it's been in a barrel for too long under water. Hmm. The lime's nice. I find it awkward tasting. And you know what? I'm having a hard time thinking of a root beer cocktail that we've done thus far that has blown my mind. Like, even the root beer schnapps. In the end, nothing is as good as root beer. Like, when you make, when you take Coke, which we'll be using later, also going to be using bacon vodka, so get that on deck. Um, when you use Coke, I think Coke can be improved by adding certain liquors to it. Spice rum. Um, spice rum. Dark rum. Spice rum. I can't think of anything else. Maybe, I don't know, some chocolate. Whatever. Bacon. But, 
I haven't proven that with, with root beer. Root beer is so good. And this just has that weird, you get root beer, but at the same time, it's twisting you with this weird sour that you don't typically get out of root beer. Out of Coke? Yes, you can get lime flavored Coke. And they seem to go, but this one is, is like turning your tastes into the sour direction, then back to sweet. And then you get these weird, the play of the, the spices, which kind of get lost in all the, the craziness that's going on in your mouth and mine. So I say give it a try, but I'm not a huge fan. I just, I, it's not doing anything for me. I would rather just drink this. This is so much better. I don't know. There you go. So that's just how it's going to be. Question of the day. If you go to buy spirits at your local liquor store, do you ever ask them questions? Do you go up to the clerk and say, what do you suggest? Do they know anything? The folks around our place? Not so much. They might know where you can go for a category, but it's a bunch of old ladies and they just are there to work and go home, right? They saved us money. They did. They told us, oh, I think we have that on special, which is nice. But I don't feel like there's a real mom-pop type relationship going. I think it Well, ours is state run. I don't, I don't care what it is. State yes. run should be even state more. State run's going to be less mom and pop. They should be just... more because they need to draw people in to buy alcohol you don't to need fund to draw whatever that. People in to buy alcohol. You can make. You can bring in a lot more volume if you're nice people. No, you just you put it on the mass state line. <laughs> That works too. <laughs> but it just seems to me that they could be bringing in money that will help the state in whatever they do with that money. What do they do with that money? I don't even know. Fix our roads. Fix the roads. Stop drunk driving. I'm thinking. Why did 93? Synergy. <laughs> Why 93? Uh, so there you go. Do you ask your clerks questions about what they sell? EverydayDrinkers.tv and the new EverydayDrinkers.com. We're teaching you how to drink.